guys, welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. In this episode, we're going to be starting the Cascade Kingdom. And yeah, let's just get right into this. So, uh, in these kingdoms, this is the first kingdom, of course, there are obviously moons, and then there are these things, purple coins. And in this world, there's 50 of them, some of them have 100. And the store is not open right now, but there is a store where you can buy use your purple coins or regular coins to sell things, and I'm just going to collect a bunch of them right now. Uh, probably going to get all of them before we leave. In fact, there's only 17 moons in here, so we might get them before we leave. So, this chain shop right here, this is another one of the people that we can control using Cappy. Not what I wanted to do there. So, go. why does that keep happening? Okay. So, if you pull the chain shot this way, and then destroy that, we'll get the first power moon. So, let's get this power moon really quick. Here we go, that's our first one. And I think technically we need five to leave this world, but we'll probably get more before that. Because this world's kind of small, at least before you beat the game. So, you can get a lot done here. And as you can see, across is our ship. The Odyssey. Multi moon atop the fall. So, this is sort of like the story mission for this. Uh, this area. Oh, we found a power moon. What a lucky break. This will come in any to power an airship. Have you ever seen anything like it? Uh, no. So, real quick, there are more purple coins below here. And there are some. My bad. Wrong one. There's some underneath the waterfall. And then there is a painting there, but that's more for later. We'll learn more about that later. So let's get back up. I think there's, there's more uh, purple points back here that we are missing somewhere. There they are. Okay. Already 15. Perfect. So... Yeah, let's start to progress through this story mission. Uh, multi moon top, the falls, and it's pretty easy. But you know, one thing that is pretty different about this game is that there are still like story missions. But oh, you know, I'll let this cut some. So that's our Odyssey. It's the ship. Ah, there it is. This is what we were looking for. It's looking a bit rough. Ugh, sorry, it's looking a bit more rough than I expected. Ah, uh, no. It's just an older model. I'm certain we can fly. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Just throw me on that global ring. Alright, so let's just get that one power moon we got into this thing. And it'll sort of absorb the energy into, like, the mast. Huh, nothing happened. That power moon must have not given the ship enough energy. I wonder if we can find more around it. Alright. So, we can find more, and we will. Um, so, there's actually a lot. Is there, oh, there's some more purple points. So let's grab these right here. Perfect. So, this... Oh, more purple coins there. So, this area right over here. Uh, this, of course, was used for, again, a lot of branding for the game. And as you just saw, uh, you can pick up coins with your hat, too. So, you don't need to run into them. But... This was used for a lot of branding in the game right here, because it's pretty crazy how you can become a T-Rex. So here we go. Here we go, T-Rex Mario. This one is super fun to be. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's basically anything you do, you can destroy. And, you know, it's it was very exciting, especially the first time you played. Look at that, you just destroy the chain chomp. That, oh, there's a power right there. I didn't even know that. Alright, let's just open up this whole area. And I believe you need it for a little bit more. Let's head this way. Let's find out. Uh, we can destroy some of this stuff over here. I don't think there's anything in here, actually. Let me get some more purple coins. Alright, that's all we need it for. We'll just let it chill there. So if we go into this chain shop right here. Wait for it to come around. This is how we get above to the boss fight, which is up there. As you can see at the top right, there's that lady that we have to fight. 
So this is a cool feature too, is that you can become 2D Mario. Kind of combines uh, both Mario's like old and new styles, 3D and 2D. But of course there is some secrets here. So, oh nice. So if you come up here, actually, oh, there's one block right there. If you go around, as you can see there is a power mode over here. And there's a bunch of hidden ones like this. In fact, there's a lot. This world actually is one of the smaller, like, amounts of power moons. 17. Like, the next one we have, I think there's 68 something power moons. If, even before, like, once you beat the game, you can unlock more power moons. I think that one is 68 to start with. So it's kind of crazy. So you want to jump into this guy to destroy that. But you want to get this guy out of. Ooh. You want to get this. Oh. I could have done it right there. There we go. And I took a little heat. That's okay. It's a heart over there. I didn't want that. But grab the little heart. And here we are, ready to go into the first take a real boss fight. Where you can get a multi moon. And this one is, again, it's pretty simple. Most of the boss fights in this game are pretty simple. I'm just gonna skip the dialogue, honestly. So anything in this game that wears a hat, you pretty much know that you can get into. So let's get into this guy, it's like a pet. And you wanna pull it, and then like, ooh, I pressed the wrong button. You just kinda wanna pull her, and release it, this way she gets hit, and then we're good. And you just want to keep doing that. As you can see, that multi move is around her neck, kind of in the middle. Yeah, this is a pretty simple boss fight, honestly. And, you know, she'll try to attack you when you're in this, but if you just keep moving around, it's very easy. This is, yeah. The weird thing about this is that normally the bosses... Oh, oh, she almost got me. Normally the bosses are, like, part of Bowser's, um... Like ensemble that we saw uh, in the last episode, but this is like one of the few that aren't. So let's just run away from them, and there we go. Pretty simple. Most of the boss fights have similar mechanics as well. A lot of them involve jumping on them and uh, using your hat, of course, but it's pretty simple. There we go. Multi moon right there. And of course, multi moons count as three. Which is pretty cool. It's like a grand star. Actually, a grand star only counts as one in Super Mario Galaxy, but it's still similar. I think it's just because there are so many moons in the game that they count as three. So it's going to take you back to the Odyssey, but we're not done yet. There's still more I want to do. In fact, I don't even think. I'm going to put them in the thing yet. I'm not even going to put them in the Odyssey yet. So, yep. There is a lot more we can do. So let's grab this guy right here. You know what? I'd say the goal for this episode... Let's get all the purple points this episode. So let's do that. And there's a moon up here as well. So, where are the purple points up here? I know there are some should be down and we're gonna go into that moon place later here we go purple coins right here and yeah finding the purple coins for the most part is pretty easy it's just there are some that are really difficult to find oh i forgot about that power moon over there we'll grab that really quick and then there is some purple coins under the waterfall still that we will grab I think there's some over here. If I'm correct, there should be some over here. If they're not over here, there we go. There's some. No, there's not any in that. So those are the ones where you have to use your hat. So there's some up there. And there are some in that little hat area right down there. So most of the time when there's a hat on a door, it's not most of the time, every time, when there's a hat on a door, you 
you can op use your head to open that door and go in and there will be a coin or a moon in there. In fact, all of these areas that are separate, to my knowledge, all of them have a normal moon, and then all of them have a secret moon that you can hit. And, you know what, let's just jump over these guys. I was gonna let them kill it, but we'll just let them jump over. And these purple coins in this mission are probably the hardest ones to find in the Cascade Kingdom. So let's just wait for this. And they're very, like, most of the ones in the Cascade Kingdom are, like, pretty much wide in the open. But these ones are not. <laughs> it it took me a while to find them. So what you want to do is you want to come way up here. And then jump above. Oh, I missed it. So as you can see, you can jump above the area. Uh, there's a little ledge above it that you can jump on. I don't know how high you can go, though. That's the thing. Let's try it one more time. If not, I'll just cut it out for you guys. Okay. Dang it. Alright, I'll cut back. Alright, finally. Guys, I finally made it. So as you can see, that's the power one we're supposed to be getting. And if you come around here, we can get those four purple coins that we need. So only 12 more. And they're pretty easy to find. So let's grab the power moon we're supposed to grab anyway. There is another one here, which we will get probably in the next episode. So we got only 12 purple coins left. And then I can show you guys too what we can buy. I think if you throw it, yeah. You see those little like cats around? Pretty sure you can just throw your hat there. And you'll get either a heart or coins or something. Okay. So, let's do this. Grab these coins. And there's more up here. We are missing two of the badges. Now, one of them is up top. And yeah, after this, uh, purple coins, I think I'll cut it off for this episode, and then in the next episode we'll get the last, uh, nine or so power moves. So here, you know, in fact, we can do one right now. So these, uh, are like time trial missions, where you have to throw your hat, and basically this platform comes up in a certain amount of time. As you can see, it's disappearing, and we got it. And there's another moon over there. So it's funny, because there are some moons that are, like, super easy. And there's some that are hidden in extremely difficult spots. It's similar to the purple coins. There we go. Only three more purple coins left. And they're actually escaping my mind as to where they're at. Uh, I'm pretty sure, actually, now that I think about it, they're by the T-Rex. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, there they are. This is a Moonstone, which we're going to learn more about later. But, okay. Ooh, close. So we'll grab the last couple purple coins, and now we've got all 50 of them. I think I couldn't hear it, but I think we got a little applause. I'm not sure. So, oh, there's another moon over there we'll grab. I'm pretty sure there's a stone. Or, there should be a store over here now? No, not yet. There's normally a store right over there in that area. Okay, well, we just grab this one. Nice and easy. We've actually got a lot of the moons this episode so far. Uh, we'll do that time. Actually, we'll just get it done really quick. We'll do this, then we'll end the episode by putting the moons we have into the Odyssey, and then we'll finish getting the rest of the moons in the next episode. This last moon. There we go. So something that's kind of cool is that you can actually fast travel. So if you just press the minus button and then go towards an area like a checkpoint or the Odyssey, you can fast travel. So with the 11 moons we have, let's get them on the Odyssey. There we go. This thing's going to be nice and powered up. And what are we going to have? 12? 12 moons. 
very nice. In relation to the game, that's nothing. Because I think there's like, I don't know, 800 in like 60 some moons, like actually. And then you can get 999 if you just buy them from the store. All right, the Odyssey has been restored. And we can go to the next kingdom, which is, of course, the Sand Kingdom. And this kingdom's okay, it is huge. But we're gonna head back into the Cascade Kingdom, and we are gonna finish exploring and getting the rest of those moons. If you go to uh, the list, so if you press minus and then press Y, you can see that we have there are 25 moons and we need what do we get 15 more so we'll get those 15 in the next episode so all right guys thanks for watching uh if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and if you missed the last episode check it out and we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace